Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boyne Island for the 2023 AFL Capricornia Senior Men's Grand Final between the Bit Saints and the Yapoon Swans. My name is John Dietz. Joining me in commentary is AFL Queensland Game Development Lead for the Capricornia Region and Brothers Legend, Scott Smithwick. Scotty, welcome aboard. Afternoon, DT. Been a fantastic day here so far. Six grand finals done already. We've had five different premiers across uh, the six games. So this game, a replay of the 2022 grand final where Yapoon got over the line against the Saints. Scotty, your thoughts on how this one might line up today? Oh, I think it's going to be a close one, exactly the same as last year. Just a hard physical contest, good country footy, and, uh, and may the best team win. It's been an absolutely fantastic day here today in the Shire. The crowd and the community's got right behind the footy club, and, and great to see so many people here today. Uh, earlier results, Gladstone with the win in the under-13s. We had a double overtime game, the under-15s girls, with uh, Glenmore getting over the line over the brothers' kangaroos. Under 15s boys, another fantastic game with the Saints getting up over the Swans. Under 17s, the Panthers with a win. The Reserves, Bits with the win over Yapoon. And we've just seen Yapoon get the win in the women's. Ready to get things underway. Bits going to the left of screen. So Rucks go at it. Saints with a hit out. Coming in off the line there is Chapman for the Swans. Plenty of numbers over the footy. Going to be pretty tight around the ball early. Umpire lets it go, but calls it for a ball up. Anything you see early, Scotty? Uh, good matchup. Interesting matchup between Max Marsh and where is he over there? Um, Thomas Arnold down down the forward for um, for the bit. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So. Saints with the clearance, kick the ball forward. Scotty's called it early. Marsh keeps his feet in the contest, rolls around on the right boot. Got numbers inside, forward 50, streaming for great work and a fantastic tackle. Ball spills out, picked up there by McGowan. Over the footy, plenty of numbers around the ball. Bit of heat in this one early. Umpire says we'll ball it up. What a, what a cracking contest there, straight out into it. Fantastic tackle. So, ball gets rushed through for a point, but if that's a precursor of what we are going to see today, there's going to be a fair bit in this one. So, Saints on the board early, minute gone in the first. Chapman goes short. Picks out Payne, follows up, receives a handball, kick towards the centre of the ground. Good work by the Swans. Just forced the handball forward, taken there by Fitzgerald, Ty. Got Marsh on the lead and finds him. So the two boys who played for the Queensland under-17s a couple of weeks ago link up. Marsh goes inside forward 50. Just a bit too much on it. And the intercept taken by the Swans. Well, there's been a hold up. There's been a reversal. My goodness. And a blood rule too against the Swannies. Interesting to see what happened there. I didn't think there was really much in it. Good, con good ball in by Maxi. Just a little bit too much on it. Good setup though to win the footy back. So I just wanted across the middle of the field. Good use of the footy. Just waiting for the Swans player. I think it was Dylan Matheson's come onto the ground for the first time. Play on. Careful in the approach and just tugs it a little bit to the left. Ooh, I think the Saints might be ruining a couple of missed opportunities here, DT. Yeah, just peppering inside forward 50 and I think the saw like your Poon eight premierships in a row. Just if they can get that scoreboard pressure early, that's going to be the key for the Saints. No, uh, coach Timmy Boston very, very uh, keen on his forwards impacting early and kicking to what's been the scoring end throughout the day. The Swans patient with the build up and Chapman, who's been very busy early. Looks to play on. Great smother on the mark there. Going hard at the footy. The contest is absolutely unbelievable. Picked up at the back there by the Saints. And they've got the first one, Granger. So Tommy Granger, who won the league medal the other week, got the first one on the board. 
Geez, he was the recipient some really hard footy there, wasn't he? I can't, don't know quite who it was for bits, but my God, number three, Tommy, Tommy Humphreys. My goodness, he must have learned that at Brothers because he's gone through like a border gate there, spilt the ball, and then all of a sudden Granger, on it quicker than a seagull on a hot chip, and just like smashes it through. Great play. Fantastic start for the Saints. So three and a half minutes in, one, two. Swans yet to score. Rucks go at it again. Good work. Good follow up there by Gallagher. And he gets a free kick. Handball off to Chapman, who drives the ball inside forward 50. Plenty of numbers at the contest. Good work there at the fall of the ball by Ryan. He gets the ball forward and a little kick off the ground by Malone goes through. So Swans with their first score. As Dylan Bartz brings the ball back into play for the Saints and picks out Raffin. So a few of the youngsters coming through, Scotty, and a lot of good work done by AFL Queensland in their development to um, see so many young boys get through. Oh, definitely, mate. These boys are the highlight of the year for the, for the Saints Footy Club. Moving it on now down the wing. Long drive. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one contest. And nearly a decent hanger taken there. And that spills out of bounds. Just, oh, someone's down there. Dear me. Well, it looks like a good contest, but I think we can agree, DT, that it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of contests where people have to put up their hands today and put their head out of the footy. I just picked out a free kick there for too high somehow. It's rough when on the receiving end. Indoors, I reckon I'll probably go long again here. Look out. Down the line. To the contest from Marsh. And there it is again. Nice fist to the footy. Across Rafa nearly gets a hand on it. Fits mop it up nicely. Drive it in deeper. And Poon take the mark. So just look to settle and Cousins takes the mark. Finds Wallen. So the veteran kicks smothered. Good work there by Roth coming across. So plenty of heat on the ball here early. Going to be extremely contested. Ground in really good nick. Breeze a little bit to the left of your screen. As Achilles, great name for the Ruckman for the Saints. Taken at the back by Gallagher. His kick goes forward and it's marked there by Romero. Kick inside, forward 50 is good. And on the lead there, the Swans kick inside. And really nice build up there. Just patient with their movement. And... Just took the sting out of the crowds, probably the quietest they've been for the last couple of hours. Good entry there by the boys. Good entry down in there, nice and deep, and they thought their way through it, made, made the Saints um, defence move forward. So Chapman, who started extremely well, had plenty of it, about 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. Comes in on the approach. Has hit it pretty sweetly. Had to see a goal on post. They just swung to the near side. So, 1 2 for the Saints, 0 2 for Yapoon. Six minutes, 50 seconds gone here in the first quarter. 17 minutes and time on for those of you watching at home. So, uh, a little bit shorter than what the AFL is, but I think that'll just lend to the hard contested footy and plenty of numbers around the ball. So, Bart's. In the pink boots, drives that one long towards centre wing. Players fly, Fitzgerald there over the top of the footy. And the umpire says, we'll ball it up. Rucks go at it again. Taking the back by Fitzgerald, drives his legs. Good smother there by Connor. Tied up again around the contest. Umpire circles and says, we'll ball it up. Scotty, we'll see if you can get the ball moving. Oh, away we go. Was it long, hit long here? Clear the conjecture. And the back, good turn. Being patient here with the ball use. They've spread it wide. Risky kick though, it's gonna have to come off nicely. Lane's gonna have to chase hard here. Turns him inside out, pops it into the middle. And Ty Fitzgerald takes the mark coming across there. Normally good ball user. Brings it out wide to the wing. I put the moz on him. We're giving him to Sandy Roberts. Looking for Max Marsh. Puts it out of bounds. There's a, it's been a good battle so far between Marsh and, and uh, Thomas Arnold. 
Looking forward to see what happens here from Achilles and Gallagher. Right down, moving it through. See the boys are in, a, in over the top of the footy here. You're gonna have to win your own ball, lads. Well done, Ty Fitzgerald gets the ball forward again. Will be end up out of bounds. And we should reset centre wing, DT. So really tight and contested. Players who put their head over the footy are gonna be at a premium early in this one. So Rucks go at it. Good work by Chapman again. Scrap forward there by Payne. Saints win the ball off half back, but that only goes as far as Connor, who just about has his head ripped off, ripped off. Got plenty of options. He looks inside forward 50. Just kick drops a little bit short into the breeze and a good intercept mark by Ty Fitzgerald. So switches play the outer side, Raffin in a good contest there with his opponent. Keeps his feet, drives, takes a bounce, looks inside forward 50. What's he got? He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Good contest. Well done by both players there. Keeps his feet. Handball back to Granger. Gets the ball over the top to his teammate from the boundary who has a flying shot on goal. And goes through for a minor score. But probably the first time we've seen the ball get out in the space and Raffin's running capacity, Scotty. He's uh, high level. Sure is, mate. He's always had a really good tank as a junior. Look, Sean, uh, must be a tactic of the Swannies here to go short every time from fullback, trying to spread the load. But he came. Madsen gets it out wide, gets around. Works it down the wing again. Swannies have worked up a good load here. Coming across, deep entry. Good contest from Mills and Ty Fitzgerald coming across. And they mopped it up nicely here. The Saints will get out of this. Brock Roth just coughs it up there. Matty Wallen, silky as normal, and straight down to Burgess, I'm pretty sure that is. Very dangerous coming back into the side this week. Expect him to kick this one. Doesn't mind a goal, Burjo. On the father would say, though, with those coloured boots, you want to kick him from there, I reckon. See what he does now. It's been a cracking first 10 minutes of the game. straight in and I think he's pushed it out to the right he's just got in there be interesting to see how the boys uh, try and move it out from Tanham now I mean, about three shots of the goals missed each time and the boys will go long they've elected to play on and come on carry down to the centre wing and if you pass it straight down to Marsh and my right it's Falcon that's magnificent what a Falcon Brock Roth just brings it down water boy get out of the way he says and Brown is gonna have to go hard here with the contest Hold it in there, had to get it on, ducked his head, competing hard, hands out, the ball bobbling around in there, bodies and arms and legs going everywhere, and we've picked out a free kick. Umpire Nick Brown has pulled out a throw, I don't know how that happened, but here we go, we've got um, Rothy, pretty sure it is, uh, Brock, a bit, bit of the footy so far, forwards are pleading for him to get it on, he goes long, as you would, Max Marsh, and he's pulled out a ripper. Just knows his man underneath it. Oh my goodness. Well, riding, that's probably not where you want to do that in front of the bits faithful. But Swans move it out to the other side of the ground now. Look to go along now. Good contest. Back it goes in again to Connors. Gonna have to mop it up. I reckon he'll get it over the boundary line and he does. The crowd in full voice in front of in front of the contest there. Beer sales at an all-time high here at, at Tanham Sands today. As the ball gets thrown in, players compete over the over the contest. Umpire says that's holding the ball. So Blake Stebbings with the footy. And holding the ball, so it might be a little bit of might be a little payback for the one that was uh, deemed in the back before, but Stebbings will kick from just inside 50. Breeze behind him, 12 minutes 45 gone in the first. So he'll take a good kick from here as he comes in off the left boot. Doesn't get the distance contest and the ball goes over the line. For a minor score, so one, four bits. Yapoon, North three, so short to the pocket again. There's a lot of numbers up the ground so they can't afford to blaze away and Tucker comes in and Takes a good mark and look to change the angle to Chapman. 
So does well. They've got numbers out here with Matheson if they want to use it. But again, just hit the short patient and Matheson's on now. So ball sits in the air and the umpire says, no, you've just had enough of that one, Freddie. So again, patient with the build up, the Swans and Saints just dropping their numbers back behind the footy. Tucker links up, receives the handball, gives it back to Gallagher, Michael Gallagher. Numbers at the full of the ball. Burgess leads in the race on Bartz. It's a good matchup down there. Good tackle, strong tackle, and holding the ball, which goes away. Wayne Clifford quick on the trigger. Fitzgerald, who's been busy early, switches play to the outer side. And this is what the Saints need to do. Just try and open the game up and make the ground big. Kick bobbles towards the centre of the ground. Good pick up by the big fella. Gee, that was a strong collision in the centre. Numbers over the footy again. There's not a lot of space. There's not a lot of time, but a free kick goes away of the Saints. And it goes away of Granger again. He switches play and finds Clem Boston. So another one of the Saints youngsters. It's a good kick over the top. Raffin leads in the race to the footy. How's it going to bounce? It bounces up favourably for him. Drives inside forward 50. Got Marsh on the lead. And he's got him. Centimetre perfect to kick. And a good strong lead from Marsh. And he says, you're not taking this one off me up. And he'll have a shot right in front of the Bit Saints faithful. Drop panel or the bender. He's going to go to the bender. So about 30 out. Runs around on the right boot. And he has gone with the big bender. And he's got their second. He's up and about, Marshy. Saints with their second. 2 4 16. Swans, not three. Well, Marshy's all for it then, wasn't he? He certainly enjoyed kicking that in front of the crowd. Trying to get the pump up there. Well, what about getting a kick in from his best mate? Those boys have just been kicking the footy for the last 10 years to each other. You can just tell they just knew where he was going to go. Raffin, normally a good user of the ball, set it up nicely for him. Interesting to see what happens here. Raffin in the middle, Achilles, Fitzgerald. Who's the other fella? Carl McGowan. Cal. Here we are, we're in. Oh, Raffin's making a lot. Gee whiz, he's just weaved his magic there. What a magnificent play, straight down, Granger. Up high, Dirt, oh, holding, the umpire didn't fall for a good, a good decision. Oh, that, and I reckon he get a sling, to, oh, holding the ball. Remember when the slings go today? Little windy tackle, look, build up from the Poon, he'll be short again out of defense, I think. Relying on the movement. He's going to have to work hard to the contest here. Going to have to trap it as it comes along. Good work by Clem, but Lee Cousins is up to it. The old fella coming in nicely. And Mick Gallagher takes it over the line to restart for the, for the, for the, for the, um, the Saints. And I think the boys will be happy with that. This one, he's built it up nicely out the wing. They'll be comfortable that they're in a good position to come out from the stoppage. Comes out. Bits have been busy, though. The tackling pressure. Mick Gallagher takes it, takes it on and... Goes deep inside. Good contest though, clear and picked it up and goal to the Swannies. Classic crumb goal there, just straight on it. I'm not sure who it was. Burgess again, well, that's un unpredictable. He's just got a good crumb. Well, he doesn't mind it down there, oh, Burjo. Clean as a whistle and did not even battle out, bat an eyelid, just straight in. Yeah, classy finish from a classy player. Just knew where to be, for the ball and the experience and the guile of Burgess. Sees the Swans with their first. So they're 1 3 9. Fits 2 4 16 as we're kicking the time on in the first quarter. Umpire Clifford in the long sleeves, looking resplendent in the long sleeves. So ball goes up. It spills out the way of Fitzgerald. Just pokes it over the top. Marsh on the lead again. He's causing a few problems for the Swans defenders. He looks to roll and go. Inside 50, bit of hang time on the kick. Good spoil over the top there by King. The push-up King. And another free kick just for a hold. So umpires all over the holds. As Moss looks to repel from half back. And goes short. And patient with their build up, the Swans. The kick just has a bit of hang time on it. Well done at the fall of the ball there by Case. Gives the handball back. Kick towards Granger. Doesn't quite hit the target. Tucker on the outer side. Kicks the ball out of bounds on the full. 
on the outer side. So about 18 and a half gone. Two goals to one. Saints probably kicking with a little bit of an advantage to the left of screen. So Swan's done well to hold him up. And Tucker plays in front and takes a strong mark. So the boy who coached the Swans under 17s earlier this morning kicks long towards centre wing. Good contest. Fitzgerald intercepts. Gives a handball over the top towards McGowan. And he's wrapped up in a strong tackle. And the ball bobbles over the boundary line. Centre wing on the outer side. I was just about to say, DT, um, Mitchy Tucker's done a fantastic job against Granger there. Granger's a little bit frustrated about their balls coming in. But overall, I think the scoreline reflects how the play's been this quarter. Um, Fitz has been pretty good out of the stoppage. And the Poons have taken the ball forward a couple of times. Probably could have made a bit more of their opportunities, but then Burgess just kind of pops up, kicks a handy goal for him. So, Bits, hand, bits um, having a small lead at the moment, but it'd be interesting to see how they come out after quarter time to try and uh, combat their different strategies. The midfielder gets on top, I think, this quarter. Might just stretch it out a little bit, so see how it goes. Lee Cousins onto it straight away to get it fed out the back. It's hot footy, good tackle by Wallen. Number one for the season, in bull underneath there. Ball's boggling around. Wall gets a nice handball out, and Lee Cousins is up for the fight here. He's moving around nicely. There it is. Bit of contact. Boggling around. Will Raffin, though, on the end of it. Can't control the footy. And they picked out a hold. Chappie not too impressed about that. See what bits do to build it up the ground. Played on there. Gone decides to go long to the marsh contest. Underneath the footy this time. Could be a big if they didn't quite bounce gets around use the footy well goes long down the ground there'll be a tussle there Granger flies for the footy now it's Ian Brown comes in good tackle though you put get it away again hot footy and paid the advantage from umpire Clifford down the field not sure about that shimmer we'll play with it anyway Poon have possession on the halfback flank so the Swans with the footy and the kick goes short to Gallagher Rebound off half back goes away with McKee. So McKee looks to take the game on, got pressure on him. Good chase there from Miller. McKee's kick inside, forward 50. Sitting under the footy there. Bartz comes off his man. Well done by the young fella. Has the chest out, Bartz on Burgess. Swans with the footy in front of their supporters in the cam bar. But Fitzgerald goes back and just rushes it behind there. So. Good build up again by the Swans. Looking to be a bit patient with the footy. Not looking to blaze away. They move on to 1 4. As Bartz kicks it long towards Marsh and Arnold in a good contest. And 50 50 there. Ball goes out of bounds directly in front of our commentary position here in the tower that seems to be swaying around a little bit. It's, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know about OHS here, but that's all right. Away we go. As Achilles and Gallagher go at it in the ruck. Ball doesn't go too far and we'll have a ball up. Jesse Ross tears his heart at the footy. Achilles wins the tap. Straight down to Cousins though. Feeds out the back. We'll feed it long into the forward line. Messy kick though. And gets it out there, the boys. And we're going out. Gets it long down the wing to a contest. Granger flies. Good contest. Doesn't quite take the mark. Feeds it back into the Swannies forward line. The Swannies are loving this long bomb down the line business. And a good old fashioned whack it, get it away from me. Will Raffin done well there. The Poon just gets it back in, old Rui. Nice kick out to the side there. That was smart there. Swannies will reset. Looking for a bit of space. Nice kick in. And a long and gets a hands on it. Pushes across. There we go. Just had a match day. Uh, Clipboard here to us. It's out in the forward pocket. And in there, the boys are reset. So, ball thrown in deep in the forward pocket for the Swans. Plenty of numbers around the ball. Clearing kick only goes as far as Chapman. Good tackle there by Roth. Kick goes in to the soccer fields on the back of the ground. Just a flying shot on goal that uh, unsuccessful. So three minutes 40 gone here in the second quarter. It's Ty Fitzgerald looks to reset. 
a lot of the footy early tight. And kicks long towards the outer side. But good intercept mark taken there by the push-up king. Brings the ball back inside towards Payne. His kick is short and finds Cousins, who rolls and goes on Raff and goes long towards the top of the goal square. How's it going to go? It just misses to the near side. So just starting to get their hands on the footy a little bit more. Now the Swans midfielders. As the long kick comes again towards Arnold Marsh. It's a strong mark, mark by Marsh. It's a big clunk. Must be the headband. As he drives it long towards center wing. Numbers around the ball interchange coming on his stibbings. Tucker fights really well in the one-on-one -on -one there. Holds the footy up. Knocks the footy forward in the direction there of Michael Gallagher. And we will have a ball up on center wing. Jake Mostert to ball the ball up. Achilles gets the tap straight down to Swannies. Just boggling around, locked it up. All struggling to move around. Both teams struggling to take it away here. Working hard. Put his around. Oh, Gallagher comes through with a lot of body contact. Chappie finishes off the tackle. I'll have a ball up. It's on a wing. Game's in a good position here. Five minutes gone. Lost it. Good tap away. Bit should get it away here. Bombs it down the line. Hurried kick. See how the boys go. And scrappy play down there in the pocket. Trying to get the ball away. It'll be held up in there. And that is a ball up from umpire Clifford. Comes strutting in with those long sleeves. Be directing the players around. He can't help himself. Here we go. Let's tap it out into the corridor. Trying to get a bit of possession out through there. And it comes through. Quick kick once again. Oh, no good heavy contest there. Swannies will take it out to the other side of the ground, carrying the footy. They'll look to spread the footy. They've done a good job here. Out to Connors. Connors will carry the footy. Around and lost our footy. Must be getting a little bit dewy out there. Saints win the footy back, go long. Good contest provided by the Swans. In front of the scoreboard. Long way away over there, DT. Hard to tell what's happening there. Mills, good contest. Pushes the Swans play underneath the footy. Bits go, look to go back in, high ball. It's going to be a strong contest here and a collision happens, of course. And we're in and we're out here. The boys, Swannies look to slow it down again. But there's a good, another good contest here. Isaac Keeley, I think you bring it back in. I think that's Isaac. Bring it back in and decision. It's going to be a ball, a uh, free kick to the Saints. I think Raffin's got it again. He's had it on a string this quarter. Comes through, bowled him, as you do. Bits are on the end of it here. Gets it out there, good tackle. And just a bit of ping pong in between the wing and half back here for the Swannies. And we're in, head over the footy, good job. And there's be a push in the back. The Swans will get the free kick. So taken there by Wallen. Swings it towards the outer side. Plenty of space there. Kick towards Cossens is good. Who marks about kick and a half out from goal. Kick towards the pocket. Burgess on the lead. Good effort by Bartz. Keeps his feet in the contest. Well done. Handball goes out the back. And Ross relieves for the Saints and a good strong mark taken there on half back. It's like Stebbings. He goes off the left boot. This kick is chopped off. And again, they look to bring the ball inside every time. The, the Swans. Good handball over the top in the direction of Ryan. He's kick inside forward 50. 3v1 here in favour of the Saints. How's it going to bounce? Good contest there at the full of the ball by the Swans. Fitzgerald comes forward at the ball. Great contest there. Excellent effort there by Steele. And the ball gets in the possession of the... Matheson takes the mark on centre wing. Handball's inside to Tucker. It's short to Chapman. So their big guns working their way into the game. Chapman goes deep inside forward 50. Good contest. Burgess did that beautifully. He read the play fantastically. Handball over the top. Little fumble. Great pressure by Fitzgerald. And the Saints will rush that one over the line. The Swans move on to 1-6-12. Saints 2-4-16, eight and a half gone. Yeah, well, Saints bring it out. Aim to go long again. Good, they've found an open space though. Pretty sure it is Stebbings again. It's fun, starting to find a bit of the ball, Stebbings. Since he's come onto the ground, Grange, long down to Granger. Needs to provide a contest and does. 
That's what they need out of Tommy, I think, at the moment. He hasn't been able to take too many marks. Probably wouldn't like that, but I think he just needs to provide that contest, get it to ground, allow him to restart again. So I have at the moment. Humphrey's lurking around the front of the pack. And Ren points slung out of the side. There'll be a holding the ball decision there on, I think it's Boston. Gallagher to take the free kick. Goes long in the key direction. And man in front, I believe that will be paid too. Good decision, umpire. Key be into the breeze. Be interesting whether we can get the journey. We might do the old sneaky one to Burgess there over the back. And thinks about passing it off. I don't think so, says Josh. As we hear plenty of advice from the Bits faithful. Right in front of the crowd. And he's launched it, but he's tugged it to the left and manages to score behind. Bits faithful are very happy with that. Mills will come from the ground. He needs a bit of a blow. Want to have Dylan Bartz to bring it in again. Running, move, moving fast in those pink boots. Goes long again. In and Yapoon cut it off once more. King, the push up King. Good use of the footy, Kingy. Nice one. And it comes down. Should have taken that mark from Yapoon. Coming through. Ty Fitzgerald gathers the footy, gets it out, coughs it up in the middle though. Mick Gallagher uses the ball well, finds another Yapoon player out to the side. About 45 out. Looks to pass Burgess on the lead. He's done well. Kick goes over the back. How's it going to bounce? Big man. Big fella out the back there in Romerall. Numbers over the ball. Was that high? Oh, it was. It was. He just got his head low and drove it into Fitzgerald. And they're not happy with that at all, the Saints boys. A lot of tension drama. Sure, kick inside is good. And Romerall takes the mark. So the Saints boys just lost a bit of concentration. And Burgess switched on to that and found Romerall get 20 metres out directly in front. So they've been inaccurate. They've had plenty of chances. Yapoon early. 1-7 so far on the board. As Romerall comes in. Golan Pice to do a little bit of work, but... Makes no mistake, and that's their second through the mood of Romerall. So 2 7 19, the Saints 2 4 16, 11 and a half gone, second quarter. Well, Dietzi, the, the defence there of the Saints will be disappointed with that. Just switched off for a second. Burgess was straight on it, didn't miss. Can't afford to give um, a man of his quality that much time to think about what he's going to do with the footy. So interesting to see what happens here. Cousins and Chapman still in there. Romerill's gone in there as well to uh, to do a bit of ruck work. I think I might be Mick Gallagher. It's the boys from and Angus McDonald's been put in the ruck for, for bits. The tall youngster. Let's see what he can do here. Look out! There's been a whistle. Six 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 infringement. I think maybe from the Saints. Yes, that'll be a warning. I'm pretty sure. No, he's gone to the wrong end of the ground. Wow, that's a doozy. A little bit of miscommunication there. Cal McGowan. See me. Restarts. I feel like it's his hand to the footy. Chappie just swings it out the back. Scrappy in there. Yet to be a clear possession. Head over the footy though. And Rothy get, just gets a kick to the footy. Gets it away. Great tackle though. And it's going to be too high. And Pike Clifford straight onto it. Ooh. Dear me. to reset again. Just calm going forward here. Let him go long. Bit of a helicopter type of kick. Falls out the back though. Wallen can't get to it. Chappie seems to be getting his hands on the footy a bit at the moment. Bits coming out with it though. Quick kick around the corner will fall straight into the Poon hands. Mickey Gallagher, great mark under extreme pressure there. Look to reset again. So it's just send lost a little bit of their run at the moment. So we're looking forward to a key front spot. Good spoil though, Raffin finds it. Feeds it out the back, under pressure though. The Bit Saints keep on going back further. It's been a free kick paid though against McKee. Deep down in the back pocket for the Saints. They'll take it out to the far side. He's played on, he'll have to go. He would have been hunting for a tackle there. 
Brought it out, Keely, clean hands for the Swannies here. They've just coughed it up though. Saints have managed to win it back and they're out the back now. Granger will go in to pick it up. Just slight fumble. Gets wrapped up in the tackle, but there's a high picked out there. Tommy Granger had to put his head over the footy there. Did so. Nothing but the Swans down the line though, so they've had to bring it inboard to a two on one. And Mills comes up with a beautiful, and at 50, 50 metres. Yes, Swans player ran over the mark and it will take bits deep down inside. Jake Mostert's the umpire, I believe. He picked out the 50 metre. Clear 50 metre penalty. Just wandered straight across trying to get to his man and infringed. So Bits with a golden opportunity to reply here. They dearly love it. Swans managed to get themselves in front by a couple of points. And up has to do a bit of work, but kicks it truly. Fantastic goal by the Saints. So Mills is his first, the beneficiary of the 50 metre penalty. Good set shot, a little bit of pressure on there. So their third, they move on to 3-4-22. Yapoon 2719. Just ticked over 15 minutes here in the second quarter. And there's not a lot between these two sides watching this. It is very, very tightly matched. Low scoring, lots of pressure. And every contest is worth its weight in gold. So about to reset as we go to the late stage of the second. 666 is set. So Achilles goes up, good tap over the top by Romero. Kick squeezes wide, the Swans win possession. Good work by the Saints playing in front spot, but good contest over the top there by Taylor for the Swans. Fitzgerald wins a hard footy, but the umpire says no, you're holding the ball. Ball's advantage, picked up there by the Swans. Kick goes towards the top of the goal square. Leading back in the race towards the footy there was Lockett. And the ball goes out of bounds. Rare we see a locket in the back half of the ground, but working hard back there was the captain for the Saints. The ball gets thrown and Achilles goes a bang. Leading the race of the ball there is Miller. Miller with the ball, good tackle there, and holding the ball goes the way of Moss. Crowd not happy with that one as Moss swings the ball inside forward 50. McKay will fly! Ball hits the ground. Great effort by McKee. Fitzgerald has the ball at the front of the pack. Raffin, ball was knocked down. Great work over the footy there by all players involved. We'll have the ball up right on top of the 50, just in front of our commentary position. My oh, goodness, McKee, the high fly. He's got his points up there. Hope they're virgin, not Qantas. And as we go, as Gallagher comes out, Steele wants to come out with the footy. And Max has a fresh air shot. Will Raffin working hard under the pack. It's his hands on getting killed around, holding the man. We're all wrapping around and they've paid advantage. Saints are out here. They're going to have to keep on running the footy. Might have to lay a shepherd, I reckon. Oh, dear me. Hasn't laid a shepherd. King dealt with him beautifully there. Gets it out of bounds. That's a win for the, for the Swans, I reckon, DT. Um, should have been deep in forward there. But uh, there was no shepherd. Out of bounds. Sure is. Achilles will work hard here to get it on Gallagher. Goes whack again. Gets it deep. That's, a good tw that's as good as a kick. He's in, the boys are out, and there we go. And going to get pump it long again from Stebbings. Long ball, outnumbered though. Swans managed to somehow spoil themselves, and, are, and Bits are in. Oh my God, all he has to do is kick straight, and they're in. Brown, I think it is. Ian Brown, the dog, he just comes in. The old brown dog just comes in and says, this is how it's done, boys. Clean as a whistle, straight past him, and yours truly just kicks it straight through. What a magnificent effort, and the Swan and Swans just find themselves two goals down all of a sudden, DT. Yeah, just a forward pressure. I thought King did really well to get back behind the footy there and get in a good spot, but the work at ground level by the Saints was excellent, and a bit of a zig and a zag, and he zigged straight, and ball went through the middle. So their fourth, 4 4 28, the Swans 2 7 19. Eight and a half gone here in the second quarter. Only three goals kicked in the quarter, so we can't see too much time on being added. 
So Gallagher's back in the ruck up against Achilles. Gallagher gets it down. Good work at the fall of the ball there by the Swans. Strong tackle by Boston Fitzgerald. Drives his legs, doesn't get much on the kick, but a hole, a hole, high tackle against Gallagher. And dumped on the cricket pitch, and has he paid 50? He has. So he was dumped on the cricket pitch. Now Ty Fitzgerald, talking to him before the game, he's not a noted set shot goal kicker. <laughs> But he will have a ping from about 45. Don't look to pass it, man. Go back. And kick from about 50. Just into the slight bros. So Fitzgerald. Had a really good first half, the youngster. Comes in. Will kick right on the 50. Kick is long. How's it going to hold? The guy on the said it's hit the post. Got good purchase on it. Just, yeah. Good position by the gun by two. Right on the halftime siren. So Bit Saints 4529, Yapoon 2798 at halftime here in the 2022 uh, 2023 AFL Capricornia Grand Final. Scotty Smithwick, your thoughts on that first half? Cracking game of footy so far. Um, thought Yapoon made a made a meal of a couple of their opportunities kicking two goals seven but uh, I thought they could have like put a few more on there they had a bit more of the footy but Bits responded strongly in a lot in red time they, they kicked a couple of goals there got it down long and just boys started finding the footy again so lost their run during the middle of the quarter and Yapoon tried to capitalize on that but uh, Bits got the footy back in their hands started winning a couple of contests and and uh, kicked a couple of goals so it sets it up for a cracking second half of footy and uh, I can only imagine the Bits face were getting a bit louder, DT. So it be interesting to see if they um, they have a bit of a bearing on how the game's played as well. To uh, the ball, the ball up. Good throw there. Achilles wins the tap. Chap down to Chapman. Gets a little kick away. Out wide. And, oh, I don't know about that one. But we got it out wide again. Into the Shepherd again. The boys obviously starting to do the one percenters. Rook hooks it around the corner. Deep entry. Should be a mark to the Saints. And it is... Saints look to move it quickly down the ground. Nice, big, long kick. Oh, I should have went at the ball there, young fella. Um, but there, Granger loses the footy in the contest. Ball spilt. No, it doesn't come out. Good contest. The Cliffy Young shuffle here. It's on again. Wayne Clifford. Nominating the Ruckman for them. Doing their job. Big punch by Gallagher down the field. Looking for the boundary throw in there. Jimmy Malone, it's been a long time since he's been up to the wing that far away from goal, so he's pushed up the ground to try and find the footy a little bit more. Saints have set up well beyond the footy, though. So, ball gets thrown in. Rucks go out again. Achilles gets the tap down. Taking the footy away there. Fitzgerald in a good contest there with Steele. In the back, it says the umpire, and it was there. So, Steele will have the ball just fall to the centre. Again, the Swans kicking into a slight breeze. He drives the ball along inside forward 50, and it holds up, and McKee comes over the top and takes a strong mark on his chest, about 45 metres out. Been a prominent goal kicker in the competition for a number of years, and just looks a little bit dangerous, just starting to get a bit of a run and jump at the footy inside forward 50. So the veteran lines up. Makes his way in, and he just hangs that one out to the near side. So, Swans move on to 2-8, 20. Two and a half gone, third quarter. Bartz looks to bring the footy in, and swings it wide, and the kick is good. Finds his teammate out there right in front of the scoreboard, the new electronic scoreboard here at the Bid Saints Footy Club. Good work by Gallagher, got back with the flight of the ball. And a sling has been paid by umpire Clifford. And we'll go the way of the Swans, who will reset here through Michael Gallagher. Gallagher brothers linking up. King runs off half back, draws the ball inside forward 50. Got one-on-ones in front of the ball, and this good strong mark has been taken there again. Is that McKee again? It is. So looking dangerous inside forward 50. A good strong mark and. Saints is going to have to clamp down here because he looks extremely dangerous. As he lines up from 25 metres out directly in front. 
Golden Pie shuffles a little bit but pops it straight through the middle and the Swans 3 8 26, the Saints 4 5 29. Yeah, good movement move, move there by the Swannies. Just coming off half back. Put it in the hands of the push-up king. And nice delivery down to McKee. I think he'll like the ball coming in there like that. Fast. Out in front of him so he can run and jump at it. Interesting to see what the Saints do with this centre ball up. Just waiting for the boundary umpire to push through. Young fellas have been on the job today, the young fellas. Doing a great job, the young boundary umpires. Ball goes up. Gallagher just on top in the ruck here. The race for the footy. Ty gets there first. Moving through. Head over the footy from both teams there. Ties it up again. Good hard footy from both teams there. Putting their body on the line. Running hard at it. Pushed hard. Saints get a quick kick forward. It's going to have to be a good contest. Bodies collide. And they're going to go deep here. Clem Boston passes it off. Rothy. And it's going to go long. In, good contest. Max Marsh gets to the fall of the ball. He loves this. And he's passed it there. He's coughed it up. Maxi, Maxi, go for goal, son. And he's put it out of bounds. No, he hasn't. And over in front of the, the other the other bar would be in full, full effect. Swanee's bar. There's plenty of red over in that corner, DT. Ball gets thrown straight back in. Gallagher volunteers. We've got Brownie, I think it is. No, it isn't. Ian Brown's in the ruck against Gallagher. Gets it forward. Swannies get the clearing kick though. It should go straight down a bit. Courage shown to fly back with the flight of the ball. Ball coming out the other side. Read well by the Rue. He's always been good across the wing, Rui. And he'll look to bring it. He's going to go short again up the middle to Chapman, who goes long. Bit of work to do up forward for Romerill. Mills comes across. Quick kick off the ground to get it deep. Burgess charges out of the goal square and unlucky not to get a free kick there. Might have got a bit of a push. Swans on again though and I think it scored a behind. They're just really patient with their build up towards half back. Then that ability to get the ball long to the one on ones inside forward 50. Just starting to open them up a little bit. The Swans and starting to make their charges. Bart brings the ball in from full back. Kick goes again in front of the scoreboard. Good contest by the Swans. Free kick for a trip has been paid. Umpire pay advantage. No, he doesn't. Brings it back and don't think they're overly happy with that, the Swans boys, but ball will reset. So kick and a half out from goal. Plenty of space in forward forward 50. Burgess hits up on the lead. So does McKee. And he is starting to pose a lot of problems for the Saints defence that they're just finding some space inside forward 50 and Lockett just struggled to go with him on the lead there. And McKee, good set of hands. Line up from about 40. Slightest of angles. As the star forward comes in, makes good contact. Looks like that's gone straight through the middle. Goal umpire says yes it has. That's their fourth. The Swans have hit the front. Three, a uh, four nine, twenty-nine, thirty-three. Saints four five twenty-nine. Seven minutes gone here in the third quarter. Oh, looks like the Swannies have made their move, hasn't it, DT? They are starting to move the ball deep into the forward line, being very direct with their ball use. And McKee's been the beneficiary after pushing the first one right, and then he's kicked truly the next two times. Strong marks too both times. Looks like Achilles going down the back. Bit of argy bargy in the middle. Gallagher gets another clear fist on the footy. The bits boys come across the back though. Out to the wing. Max leads on the way out to the footy. Tries to get around. Got a handball out to Roth. And the boys come across. Here we are. And Thomas Humphreys gets a quick kick but smothered by the Swannies. Good pick up there. Good link up and it could have been out of bounds, but it gets away with that one. And the Saints try to mop it up, but Swans have the numbers. Bring it deep forward. Caden Jenkins looks to win the footy. Looks like Ty's pushed down there as well, pushed it back. And Swanee's applying extreme pressure to the, Sa to the Saints. Ty picks up the footy, gets his kick away and 
slung after he kicked it. So he wins himself a free kick and 50 metres from the Swannies. Uh, just a little bit of lip. We don't have any of that to uh, Nicholas Brown. Umpire um, won't stand for that. He'll set the mark somewhere near centre wing. It's a good 50 metres. He's ran fast backwards there. And Ty will put the ball deep down forward. Scrubby sort of kick, but a look out for the Saints here. Clem Boston tries to break through, loses control. Swan, scrappy footy, and another holding free kick. So, oh, Swan, Swan, Saints were lucky to get away with that one, DT. They do and they clear, and oh, a bit of an ear massage. Bit of an ear massage there from, from Mills. The good strong mark taken in front by Steele. A bit like his St Kilda namesake there, Jack Steele. Long kick towards the half forward line. Good contest there at the back by Romerall. 3v1. Taken there. Raff in a hospital handball. And he's done for a throw. So the pressure from the Swans has really lifted. Their pressure rating's gone through the roof. As Cossens has the ball on centre wing. Looks for his options. Saints just got a spare behind the footy. So he's got to think his way through it. Mark drop there in defence, picked up there by the Swans and a flying shot on goal there by Wallen. The skipper just misses to the far side, so 4-10-34. But just starting to really dominate the contest at the minute, the Swans, as Bartz goes short. Picks out his teammate in the shadows of the scoreboard. It's a little bit dark out there. An intercept mark taken on centre wing by King. Who's done some good things across half back. A nice size and hard to get past. And drives it long inside forward fifth in the direction of McKee. Can he mark it? Umpire says no play on. Plenty of numbers around the fall of the ball. Bart spills it out. Burgess picks up. Snap around the body. Smother. Ball comes towards the wing. Marsh in a good contest with Arnold. Arnold keeps his feet. Gives a handball back towards Keeley. His kick inside, forward 50 is good. And finds his teammate there who says, we'll slow this one down in Wallen. But he says, no, I'll kick that one short. My experience will get the better of you blokes at the Bit Saints. And he just lowers his eyes and hits his teammate in Malone. Jimmy presented well up the ground then. Normally pretty steady shot for goal, Jimmy. Lays it out and just sits it out to the left. Just tried to let the breeze do a bit of work for him there and push it, push it out. Be interesting to see how the Saints want to come out here. They come out quickly. One for the long kick. Over top, the race is on in front of the scoreboard. Need to pick it up cleanly, but hasn't. Head over the footy though, wins it back and puts it out of bounds. Over in front of what has been a pretty vocal crowd over the far side of the ground today, DT. They spread out a little bit thinner now. Nice big throw back in. Gallagher will get his hands on this. Punches it forward. Big fist. Bits playing in front. Mills tries to dodge and weave his way through and coughs it straight back up to the Swans. Touched off the boot though. Good pressure on the mark. Being aware. I think it'll be out of bounds in front of the scoreboard. So as the Saints look to take back a little bit of, absorb a bit of the Swanee's pressure. It's come thick and fast in the last five minutes. 12 minutes gone though. We just need to take a bit of time off the clock, I think. Dead ball, get the ball forward. Swannies have the numbers there. King just finds the ball on a string at the moment. Done well through the centre. Swannies go deep. Maybe a good contest. And it is. Malone works hard. Good tackle by the Saints. Spills out to the side, though. Saints have the numbers. It's messy in there. Oh. Moss comes out with the footy. Saints under pressure though. Ty gives him a handball. Costly handball. Lucky to get away with that one. Deep down in the Swans forward pocket. Ty tries to get away again. I don't. Oh, he got away with it again. Top of the square though. It's going to be a good effort here. Romerul hot on it. Good work from the big fella. Gets manhandled out of it though. And Swans win it though. And a free kick to the Saints. So paid a throw there with the footy and 
the the Saints just over possessing with handball. The Swans pressure is really lifted. And probably just got to take a little bit of territory here and get the ball forward. They haven't had a scoring shot this quarter. The Saints and the experience of the Swans just starting to come to the fore. So need to find a way to just generate some forward momentum. And they draw the ball out again towards the outer side and we get a contest and ball goes out of bounds. Half forward for the Swans. 13 minutes 45 gone here in the third quarter. A minus 17 minutes and time on. Been a fantastic day of footy. There's numbers around the ball. Good work by the Saints. Pick the footy up, get in each other's row, but you've got to hold some space. Burgess comes out, gives a handball to his teammate, swings on the left boot, kick goes towards goal, and it's through. That's a fantastic goal by the Swans. Couldn't quite pick up the player who had the shot on goal. But the work from Burgess to play in front and give the handball to his teammate was excellent. And a flying shot on the left boot. Went straight through the eye diddle diddle and puts the Swans out to a two goal lead. 5 11 41, Saints 4 5 29, 14 and a half gone in the third quarter. Yeah, well, the third quarter's essentially been played in the forward half of the Swans, hasn't it? They've really lifted their pressure. Press has been on point. Really hand the Saints in. Interesting to see what they can do from this centre bounce. Gallagher's taking control on the ruck here, so it's good to see Achilles back in there for the Saints. Gallagher gets his hand on it again. In close though, straight through Clem Boston though. Went hard at the footy. Working hard. Boys ducked his head. Got underneath. The Saints are out here though. Should be a deep entry. Smothered off the boot though. Good work by Keeley. In there, the old fend off by the push up King. Magnificent play there by the Swannies. Cousins being caught with the ball, and I think they'll pay the price. Great tackling by the Saints. Pick up who it was in a second. Trent Miller. Nice one, deep entry. And pay the mark to Will. It's played on. And he has kicked a goal to get the Saints in touch. Oh no, he's kicked it behind. It must have hit the post. Wow. Will Raffin, go back and take a shot, son. Let's see what the Swannies do here. Looks like they're going to try and go long with the ball for the first time tonight. Taking advantage of the Saints being up the ground. And, and he's just put it straight back into the Saints' hands. Exactly what the Saints wanted here, DT. Bit of forward time for the other backs to get a bit of a break. And big hands by Brownie in there. The boys, plenty of Swans numbers around the footy. They should be able to work it out here. And run it out from defence. Good good run by the captain, Matty Wallen. Sure with the footy. Well, Chappie has done a string. I heard the crack from up here. DT in his off. He's pushing off. And Rotha want to mark this. Good pressure there by Gallagher. Out of bounds on the full though. Oh no, it hasn't paid it. Boundary umpire was just... Lacking behind there. So the Swanee's got away with them there, but unlucky for the Chappie, who was finding plenty of the footy. Dunny String. Big deep throw in here. Gallagher gets his hand on again. He's having a ripper this quarter. Numbers with the Swanee's. Gallagher involved again, pushing up the big man. He's turned himself into a rover. And we've got another ball in. Half forward flank for the Swanee's. In front of their bench. Plenty of direction coming. This one, his coach, is like, needs to get back in his box, and he has. Thought he's going to enter the field there, DT. Achilles gets his hands on the footy. That's what we need a little bit more from the big, big man from the Saints. And a free kick awarded. Clem Boston trying to find a bit of the footy here. Let's see what he does. Down the line. They'll need to take the mark here. Keely almost gets there, and he's played on. He has played on, and have paid the price. Went to turn and go. Mick Gallagher was right onto it there, DT. There was none of that when he's around. Gallagher's stepping up. It's like Oasis. They're just stepping up the Gallagher's. As he drives it long towards half forward. Achilles comes into the spoil and knocks it out of bounds in front of the Swans bench. 17 minutes, 50 seconds gone here in the third. We're into time on. Swans by 11 points. The Premiership quarter, they've really lifted their rating. Good work there by the Swans over the ball. Achilles gets a handball out. 
Gives in the direction of the Saints player. Kicks towards Marsh and Arnold. Marsh has front spot, but the Swans are everywhere in their numbers. Handball inside to King. Looks inside the corridor. He's got numbers everywhere. Good short kick. Picks out Moss. Moss looks for options forward. Saints just can't get any forward momentum. Numbers behind the ball. Kick goes to the contest. McKee does well. Gets it down. Saints with numbers. It's just ping pong across half forward. Fitzgerald, good tackle by Wallen. Fitzgerald just releases in the nick of time. Arnold and Marsh go at it. Marsh keeps his feet. Can he get the ball forward? Good contest and pressure. The trip. Boy, oh boy. Against Van Ruen. And Marsh will have the footy. 18 minutes, 50 seconds gone. He's got to get the ball forward. But they've got numbers everywhere behind the ball. And his short kick is good. And picks out Granger. Kick inside forward 50. Got a bit of hang time on it. But a good, strong mark in front from Brown. Who just stuck the Dukes up. And went clunk. And we'll shoot from about 35 metres out in front of Dylan Matheson. Who was right with him. But Brown just stuck the backside out and said bang. And his shot on goal has just missed to the near side. And would have been a big kick that one. 4 7 31 gets it back to 10 points. The Swans 5 11 41. 19 and a half gone in the third. There can't be too long left. As Payne kicks in, but only as far as the opposition player there in in Humphreys. So Humphreys just gets it and kicks it in deep. So 3v1 Brown. Cossons over the ball. Ball spills out the back towards Matheson. Back towards Payne. Short kick relieves and finds Van Royen. Very be sure here. Good quarter footy by the Swans. Gee, they really put the foot down there, didn't they? Ball lived inside the Swans half of the ground there for most of the quarter. Could have really put bits of the sword. Bits of lucky to be still within 10 points. As we finish up the quarter, Fitz Saints, four goals, 7.31. Trailing the Swans, five goals, 11.41. So looking forward to a cracking last quarter here, DT. And we'll be back shortly. So hopefully, for the game's sake. Saints can get it forward and, and away we go. But the Swans in there, they're in tight. Long speech for the, for the Swannies, ready to go. Still plenty of kids on the ground there, so there's no doubt that the ball won't be going up as they stream across. For the rank and file. Josh McKee will be going forward, licking his lips. Nearly out of Specky down here this last quarter, uh, in the second quarter. Boys on the trot. Got to be ready to go. Okay. Find Nick Brown, ready to start proceedings for the last stanza. Achilles and Gallagher. Gallagher had the better of Achilles in the third quarter there. Interesting to see how the big man responds. Here we go. Gallagher with the tap, straight down to, to Trent Miller from Bits. Gets down, ducks it out. Matt Wallace clears the whistle, gets an important kick forward, but Saints mop it up. Get it forward again. Big man, and there's a mark taken as well. Max is on the wheel, he's wheeled around. I don't know about that, Maxie. He's got it wide. Trying to spread the Saints, uh, the Swans defense. He's gone around, gone for Maxi again, trying to plonk it on his head. It's going to be a big effort. Oh, and couldn't be Brownie again, could it? Goodness gracious me. Is it Brown or Mills? Oh, he's gone the hands to Will Raffin. Risky. My God, he's ran 500 metres. And he's put it out to the right. So the boys just need to calm their farm a little bit here. Brownie very keen to give it off DT. I thought he would have went back and had a shot there. The same, and the Swans look to bring it here back in. Yeah, so just... A little bit of patience from the Saints. Kicking is, misses the target. Taken at the back there by Granger. He's kicking side forward, 52 Saints players get in the way of each other. Oh boy, ball gets cleared by the Swans. Raffin, great pick up. Gives a handball to his teammate there. Running wide is Miller. Who takes the mark. So Trent Miller, Scotty reckons he's got the journey in him. The 
45 metres out. It's got to aim it just at the interesting side left hand goal post here on previous form. So Miller, he's hung it out. There's it going to swing back? It does. And funky Trent Miller kicks the goal and brings it back to a three point game. Bits 5 8 38, Yapoon 5 11 41. Ticking into two minutes in the last quarter, 17 minutes in time on. We've got a close one here, Scotty. Exactly what we needed there, DT. Interesting to see how the boys set up in the middle now. Gallagher brothers are back in the centre here. Looks like uh, Mick Gallagher's gone to Tommy Granger. The boys ready to go. Nullified there in the ruck. Achilles gets a nice handball out. Goes back inside. Will as it's Swans get it forward. Gallagher beyond it gets a nice handball out. Fumbles. Quick hands there by the gun, Wallen. And he's out, gets it out wide. And we need Jesse Rice, he's got two to beat out there. Handball's back out, and there's a slight fumble by Cuz, but he controls the footy well. Good use of the footy. Boys come up, and good contest there by the Saints. Pushing out of the wing, was that Fitzgerald, was it? And I think there's a free kick, well done. Gets it in long and deep. Great kick by Ty Fitzgerald. Now's the time, saying is in there it goes to Granger. Dangerous spot here. This one is will come out the other side of the ground. Good use of the footy, nice and short. To Payne. Found himself in the right spot there. Running back to help his mates out in defence. Swans will be calm with the footy, bringing it back out. Let's try to spread the Saints' defence out. They'll go short again. They've done it well here. Need to take the mark, and they do. I think it's Corey Moss. Presenting up there for his for the main man. Swan's very patient. They've got the lead and why not? But Raffin manages to get in front, causes a contest. Ball spills out of bounds, centre wing, far side. So the Swans eight premierships in a row. Looking to win their ninth in what would be an unbelievable achievement. The young Saints side coming at them as Raffin. On the left boot, has the ball smothered off that boot and goes out of bounds on the wing. Been a fantastic day here. The Bit Saints Footy Club have done an outstanding job in presenting the facility and there is an enormous crowd. The wind's dropped, which is great because the towel's been swaying for the last three quarters. It's the Saints clear and a good mark there by Humphreys. So has the ball on centre wing. Been shallow with their entries. King is positioned behind the ball, so he can't just blaze away. Looks to shape back. Don't know about that one. Don't know about that one at all. Bad bounce taken there by Granger. Can he be calm here? Good tackle. Trip, trip, trip. So Granger, the medalist, kicks towards the wing. Towards the score. Well, it's a fair effort out there. What's the umpire said? It's a mark. It's a great effort. Can't quite see who that is out there. It might be Humphreys again, is it? Uh, not Humphreys. Shallow entry. Marsh leads out. Good spoil by Arnold. Ball is cleared, and this is where the Swans ought to load up if the ball can sink, but doesn't. Good work by Mar. Good work by Marsh. Followed his work up. Going in hard at the footy there was the Saints. And they've got the ball at 50 out. This is Humphreys. With the ball just outside forward 50. Put his head over it. There's plenty of numbers back. So not a lot of movement either. But here comes the lead on the short. Is good. And the kick is good. And the mark has been taken by number 28, Brendan Huth. So Huth from 35 metres out. Just presented nicely at that one, comes in. Big kick in the context of the game. Makes a good contact. Oh. That is straight through the middle. Oh, and Brandon oh. Huth has put the Saints back in front. 6-8-44. Yapoon 5-11-41. Six minutes gone. Final turn. That's it, DT. He will not need to buy. If that's a winning kick, he won't need to buy a beer ever again in Bourne Island. 
Huthi, not the most reliable goal kicker. <laughs> and he is dead set slotted. Got a beautiful set of hands, the man. My goodness, what a game we have. Three points in it. Saints have had their rub of it so far. It'd be interesting to see what happens if the Swannies get a bit of time down forward. Here we go. And the reset again. Even contest in the middle. Ball's not going anywhere at the moment. Just scrappy in there. Bodies flying around everywhere. Everyone's desperate at the moment. Game's there to be won. Steele comes out. Good chase by the Saints. Miller in support. Needs to get the ball. And there's been great spin out of defence. I think this one's might get it here. Mark here. Raffin flies for the footy. Ranger gets a quick, quick away. Lucky bounce there for the Saints. Bit of body work being done by Raffin. Good tackle. Ball falls out. Desperate defence here by the Swannies. Bodies flying around everywhere. They come in and we'll have the ball up. Ruckman nominate. Swannies with a quick kick out from defence. Straight down to Caden Jenkins. Finds himself in the right spot. He's played on. He's gone around. There's been a slip on the mark. Just gets his kick away. Need to fly at the footy. And King, sturdy as she goes, flies back with a fly to the ball. Swans come out through half-back flank. And they're going to go hard through the middle here. Wallen goes long, I think it is. Everyone, and the boy, oh, unlucky bounce straight back over the head. Cousins got, trying to work hard to get a good kick in there. McKee, good, oh no, great defensive work by the Saints. McKee almost takes the mark, and I reckon the form that he's in, he would have slotted that if he had a market. Right in front of the Swans faithful on the cricket net side here at the Boyne Island Sports Complex. Tap down, picked up there by Taylor. His kick goes in the direction of Burgess, whose flying shot on goal has just missed. Well, I reckon he could put that one down in the books as soon as he had possession of the footy there, but misses to the near side, a minor score. As Bart brings the ball back into play with a long raking kick towards the outer side. Good contest, players fly at the ball. Pressure around the footy is going to be immense. Who's going to put their head over at Boston? Knocks the footy out in the direction of his teammate King. Goes back, great work by Raffin, keeps his feet, just forces the ball forward, takes territory. Head over the ball is that high, umpire says no play on. Ball spills out towards the corridor, dangerous position for the Swans, but they win the footy. Handball goes over the top to his teammate. Cousins in the lead for the mark, drops it. Ball goes towards the boundary line, Bart leads back in the race. Good effort there by the Swans player. Handball goes back. Kick inside, forward 50s, a Chisler McKee on the lead. Just had a little bubble and Lockett was able to just get his fist in and knock the ball towards the boundary line. Right again in front of the Swan supporters and the can bar, which has been well patronised. Good handball, good clearance inside. Same play, great tackle by Burgess. And the umpire says we'll ball it up. Ticking towards the 10 minute mark here in the final quarter, a reminder 17 minutes and time on. Taken down off the ball, what's the umpire going to pay here? The um, non-controlling umpire has said that's a sling and going the way of the Saints. So we'll get a relieving free kick. And player was just taking out the ball, didn't see what happened. He's watching the contest, but taken down there. A short kick is good and saw relief by the Saints coaches as Granger, Mar Granger marks and kicks long towards the outer side. 2v1. Gallagher's there pushing the back and the Saints have the ball on centre wing. Ten and a half gone. Saints are on the march here. They'll be marching in shortly, I think, as they come along. I did go early. Well, they're going around to play on. Gone long with the kick. Saints have loved the long kicks at the moment. Oh, nearly hang time. We're coming along here. Ball boggling around. Hot potato in there, boys. You've got to be quick on it. And took them on, and they've got the ball out. Good umpiring. Stepped inside. It's gone long. Deep entry for the Saints. And it is out of bounds right next to the point post. Scoreboard side of the ground. Interesting to see how they work it out here. 
Can't really see who's down there. Matty Wallens pushed down hard to help out his defensive teammates. Everyone's working hard. Two spare behind the footy for the Saints in case it comes back out the same side. Romrul's pushed up there just to make it a 50 50. They can get their hands on it. Looks like it's come across the top of the goal square. Marsh gives a big shove in the side. Free kick. Must have been a bit more into the back. Plenty of players down there, DT. Bit of confusion going on. This one is left to go to the other side of the ground where they found a free player. Going around. Burgess, centre wing. They want him to hold the ball up. They want to hold him as quickly as they can. Keely through the middle of the ground. Burgess goes, elects to go long. In the way of McKee. McKee sure with his hands this time. You couldn't have the footy. And Typhoon Shields pushed out back hard behind the footy. Great mark from the Saints. Clem Boston. Timmy will be happy about that. Must have spent a bit of time in the backyard with the big bombs to, to Clem. Clem goes long down the line again. Good pressure from the Saints. Both teams have really stepped it up this quarter. Boggling around, trying to keep the ball in. Granger, and I think it has been a free kick to the Swans. Not quite sure what happened. It's pretty dark over there, DT. They'll be happy to get the deep entry, though. They've been pretty calm from here, the Swans. We've played on, we've gone in. We've got a big footy coming in. Romerill flies off of the ball and take an absolute ripper. Great contested mark by Romerill. Don't think the Saints defence could have done much about that. The big Dukes went up, said thank you very much. So Romerill with a big contested mark. And as the game goes longer, the big boys don't get any smaller. So Romerill will kick from just inside 50. Two points in it. The crowd is going absolutely bananas as Romerill, his kick is on point. And it's gone through for a major. And Romer with a big contested mark and a fantastic set shot with the pressure. Kicks a big goal as we tick in to the 14 minute mark here in the final quarter. The Swans 6 12 48, Saints 6 8 44. 14 minutes gone, final term. A big last swore or five minutes coming up here. As the Rucks go out at Gallagher and Achilles knocks it towards the wing. Achilles, good work there by Connor. Drives the ball forward, playing in front was Moss. Good attack on the footy. Was that a hold? Umpire says no play on. Romerill, the goal kicker, drives it forward. Going back is Bath. McKee out on the lead. How's this going to bounce? Miller with the fumble. Taken there by Lockett. Handball back to Bart. Got a body line the ball there, son. McKee's inside, 50 all on his own. Ball doesn't sit up for him. Umpire says play on. There's bodies flying and ever, everyone wants a ball. And the umpire says no, we'll ball that one up. 15 minute mark, final term. Hold him, eh? Bodies flying everywhere. Achilles tries to take front spot. Rommel has just injected himself into the game. And Ron here, Mick Gallagher, and he has missed to the far side. Goodness gracious me. There he is, Dylan Bartz. Yeah, he's played on. Gone along to the marsh. There's three sons. Oh, what a mark. Talking about contested marks. There's been some rivers today. Get off him, said the Wits crowd says. Good bit of gamesmanship there. Good play. Trent Miller takes a nice mark there. He's played on. Just out the back. Takes a strong, no, Nui takes a strong mark. King, strong tackle, good pressure from the Swannies. Been rewarded with a free kick for out of bounds on the full. Just to see how they're set up here. Ruckman along down the line. Trent Miller's down the line as well. You're gonna have to work the ball short, I think, the Swans to get out of trouble here. Might be able to get away with kicking it long. Unless Romerall, the main man, wandering across. Yep. Come down, here it comes, DT, the contest we've all been wanting. And the, and the mark taken by Mills. 
Might have got over the slight little nose there, Millsy, but gets away with it. Needs to come across. Contest. Plenty of numbers around the footy. Steal. Oh, geez, it's been clean with that. Well done. Oh, that's a crunching tackle by Fitzgerald. Great work. And there's been what do you find everywhere? Goes long. Numbers of suns everywhere. There it is. Ball hits the ground. There's crumbs. Swanies bring it out. They'll control the footy. King. Sturdy as you like down in defense. Give this mop up a bit of time here, I think, King. Approaching a bit of red time. They can win it back. Swanies to Wallen, controlling the footy. Trent Miller's questioning the mark. Can he go? Plenty of time coming off the clock here. Down the line, long. Big contest here, boys. Who can take it away? Gallagher goes whack down the line. Foot race between Mills and the young fella, number nine. Dear me. They've won the footy. Mills has won the footy. Ducks underneath it. Gets a handball away. Goodness, Gallagher gets the ball back into the middle, slips over, bodies flying everywhere. Big man. There is Lockett, goes long out of defence. What can the Saints do here? And a mark taken by the big man. Great marking by the, Saint, by the, by the Swannies there. So Arnold with the mark. Ball on centre wing, 17 and a half minutes gone, final term. Kick goes along towards half forward. McKee in front. He has been a thorn in their side, the veteran. As he kicks it long inside forward 50. Flying high was the Saints, couldn't take a mark. Picked up at the fall of the ball there. It was Malone. His kick goes through for a minor score. Put some six points up, the Swans. Bartz drives it long towards centre wing. Boston McKee, how's it bounce? Oh, high tackle there will go the way of the Swans. Fitzgerald is not happy. Gallagher's in there, he says don't look back in anger tight. So Taylor has the ball as we go into 18 minutes and a half in the quarter. Short kick, picked off by Achilles. The ruck gives it to Lockett, there's a siren and it's all over. The Swans have won their ninth in a row in what has been a heavily contested, hard fought game of footy. There's been an unbelievable way to finish the 2023 AFL Capricornia season. Yapoon 6.14.50, Bits 6.8.44, a valiant effort. But the streak continues for the Swans and the silverware will be going back to Swan Park. Scotty Smithwick. What did you think? Well, they don't call it the Premiership quarter for nothing, do they, DT? Uh, great fight back for the Swans after being down. First half of the game and then come back, good ball use through the centre of the ground and come out when you look at the scoreboard. 14 shots on the behinds. Probably could have pushed out a little bit more, but um, geez, the Saints were gallant there. Hear me. Jubilation for the Swans in the centre of the field. Nine in a row. Wow, what an achievement by a club. I think they'll be enjoying their bus trip home tonight, DT, no doubt about that. You can't ride off a champion team, and just the big guns for the Swans stepped up when it really mattered in the third quarter. And the key up front, just that dangerous presence inside forward 50. But such a good contrast between the two sides that the Swans with their veteran, veterans and their experience and Saints with some really good up and coming youngsters and been an absolutely fantastic day of footy here in the Capricornia region. We've seen some outstanding games of footy. I think there's only been one margin greater than 13 points over the course of the day. So all clubs in the region absolutely commended for their work and the way they're presenting their teams today. We'll be down for medal presentations shortly for best on ground and the Yapoon players receiving their premiership medals. But again, a fantastic day of footy here today in the Capricornia region. Well done to everyone involved. Scotty Smithwick, thanks for joining us in coverage tonight.
And again, well done to all involved in the region. Well done to the Yapoon Swans, nine-time premiers in a row. It's been a fantastic day signing off from the region. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage.